Hello, welcome back to another episode of Man Manga Boy. Unboxing manga all day, every day. Today we have a really weird kind of an episode where I actually don't have any right stuff um, boxes. You know, don't blame, don't blame me. Okay, I would have loved to have gotten some, uh, but I don't know if they're just saving for their like birthday sale. And they're just trying to like completely overwhelm me or what the deal is here but i think it's pretty odd i'll be honest because i really would have thought something would have came in by now <clears throat> but it didn't anyways this is strawberry 100 percent you can see it still says it you go 100 percent throughout the pages um i'm just slowly gathering all of them in you know bit by bit piece by piece uh the series was never finished in english as far as i know um, but I think there's 14 of them out, so it's most of the series. Next to the Zodiac Volume 18, the only one I haven't unboxed yet is 10. I actually just finished reading all of these very recently. Uh, this is a banger series for sure, but like, you know, I don't think you guys should really waste your money on it. It's severely out of print. I'd only really get it if, like, I don't know, you're a diehard fan or something. That would pretty much be it, or if you can read another language. Um, <clears throat> that would be clutch if you could read in Spanish because it's quite a bit cheaper um, but yeah today's orders are mainly from eBay and Amazon um, so no right stuff hauls there's a few book depository and world of books on here as well um, but mainly that's it um, this is a really cool buy I got on eBay this is real volume 2 hardcover um, it's a bound hardcover volume that was actually supposed to be uh, sold on library but it was a mistake um, so it never circulated to a library. It's never been read. Uh, the guy who sold it to me actually used to work at a company that sold to libraries, but it was processed wrong, and so it ended up in an employee book sale years ago. Um, I just bought it on eBay. So it looks like they really, like they literally bought the paperback and then bound it to a hardcover. Um, it's just at this point for me a collector's item. I already have volume two, but I, I saw this paired with number three. Um, and I had to get it. I was like, holy crap, that's sick. But you can see the original spine through the hardback spine. Um, I got these two for uh, just under 100. I think it was 80 bucks um, for the two. Uh, I was, I would pretty much say it's not a good deal, except for the fact that this is a hardcover and kind of like one of a kind. Um, so I got suckered into buying it, I guess. <laughs> um, but I have most of real, I'm just missing a few of the, I'm, just, I'm pretty sure missing number one, A, which is kind of a big deal, I guess. Uh, and just like maybe one or two other volumes as well. Um, but that's it for this mini part, and then we'll go back into this mini one. This one's from Book Depository. A lot of June is going to be a bunch of these mini um, unboxings uh, just clipped together because, well... That's kind of how things worked in June. Uh, Yamushi Petal Volume 10. This completes my Yawa collection. I am now currently all up to date with the English releases. I think it goes up to 17. At least that's the last one I have. Uh, so that was awesome. I was very happy to get the last uh, Yawa that I needed to, to be able to read it. So now Yawa is officially on my TBR um, without any restrictions. So it'll slowly climb up the, the ladder. Uh, I figured I'd try out a new camera angle. Um, just because June's kind of a slow month, so we, we need some excitement in our lives, okay? Um, DN Angel recently ended, uh, so I decided to start to pick it up. I had, I used to have most of the English releases, um, but I let some girl borrow it in high school, and then, like, she, like, never gave it back, and I told the story before, uh, but yeah, so now I'm just slowly rebuying, um, all the way back up to seven or eight, whichever one I'm at, uh, but it's pretty much just about this famous thief um, who, and he comes down the line in this family, so he takes over this little boy's body, Daisuke, and his name's Dark. Um, meanwhile, the opposite side has a angel who inhabits the body of a family line of detectives, um, and they try to catch Dark. It's, kind of, it's just like a cat and mouse game. Think of like Lupin. Um, I don't think it's really that good from what I remember, but I'm very nostalgic towards it, so I decided to pick it up. It recently ended, so I want to get it up to the end. I'm hopeful that they release the ending in English, but I doubt they will. But still, it'd be cool to just have it all. It was one of the first series I ever bought, so 
you know, I figured why not. Back then it was slim pickings for manga, you know, you got anything that looked interesting and then you stuck with it because there wasn't much else. <laughs> Those were the dark ages of manga, i tell you that. Okay, so let's just get this bag and open. I have no idea why this is giving me such trouble. This is craziness. Um, this is another volume of DN Angel here. Um, here you can see Daisuke and Dark on the cover. Pretty cool looking. The last volume was volume two. This is volume eight. <clears throat> oh, I must I must have up to nine then. I had to get eight. So I need to get one through eight. Oh my god. What have I done to myself, guys? I should have just broke into this girl's house and take my manga back before she moved. I was a fool. I messed up big time. Please, everyone, just flame me in the comments. I, I deserve it. <laughs> uh, but you can see the art here is like kind of shoujo y. It's, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's not much of anything, really, I guess. It's just an interesting read from the before times, if anyone's interested in some history lessons of what, what we used to like back in the day. Uh, Strawberry uh, 100%, Volume 9. Slowly just gathering them all. You can see here the cover of the girls on it. Showed and Jump Advanced, all that. The main goal of Strawberry 100% is for this guy to find the girl with the um, strawberry panties. So that way he can um, live his lifelong dream of proposing to the crush. Who he missed all his life. Very romantic series. Very romantic. Um, this next one's from eBay, despite the Amazon box. Pretty shocking, I know. Um, I got this for a pretty darn good deal. Um, let's see, I think it was around <clears throat> 220 um, And this is kind of a... It's almost sticker price. Um, but the main reason I got it, I have all of these. Okay, I have all of these except for one. Um, and the one that I needed is just like crazy, the price that it goes for. Oh, and just wanted to show off here that this is for mature readers only, the Strawberry 100%. <laughs> um, but yeah, <clears throat> anyways, this one, I just really wanted it for this one volume. I have the others. I'll probably try to sell this eventually. Um, but I just saw it, and then the price for the bundle alone was cheaper than finding it like online by itself. Uh, so I would just like jumped on it. Uh, actually, you know, I don't even see it anymore. I was trying to uh, just go online and see what a price of it goes for these days, but I, I'm actually not even seeing it on eBay anymore. So this is Bocorano R's, um, obviously. And the series is not that hard to get, but then you get to volume number three. Uh, right now on Amazon, if you wanted it on paperback, it's a measly $902, so, you know, I really didn't make out as well as I thought I did, I guess. <laughs> Wouldn't you say, guys? I really just messed up big time, I think. No, just kidding. I can't even believe it's so expensive. That's just craziness to me. I can't imagine anybody would actually buy it for that price, but please, if you do buy it for that price... Just don't buy it for that price. That's that's the bottom line. Just stop what you're doing and don't buy it for that price because that's too much money. Um, but yeah, this is a series that uh, I've had for a while, most of it. Um, and when I saw this listing on eBay, I had to get it. Uh, I know half of them are library copies. Um, but my set is actually all not library copies. Um, none of them are actually they're they're all clean and I got really lucky because uh, number three as you um, will see in a little bit if we didn't already go through it is actually I don't know I wasn't paying attention okay guys sorry <laughs> is actually going to be uh, it's pristine it doesn't have any library stickers on it or anything so I I couldn't believe it uh, you know it's a it's a huge deal um, to me so that was cool that was really great but uh, yeah, this was a big steal. I couldn't believe I found this um, at all. It just was mind blowing to me um, to find such a rare item like this online. This is like my top 10 steals for now. But you know, eventually we'll get to another top 10 steal. Just not today. Just, not, you know, just not today. Is that all right with you guys? 
You know, not every video has to be just constant top 10 steals. Okay, okay. Maybe a lot of them are constant top 10 steals. But still, they don't have to be. They're still good in their own right. Here's four, five, six. The person who sent this over did a super good job, though, with the packaging. I really like how, um, you know, they bundled it with bubble wrap every three. Uh, they taped it all together real nicely. It's kind of, was a, it was a beat-up Amazon box, so I was a little nervous about it, actually, when I first saw it. Um, but in the end, it wasn't so bad. Anyways, Boko Rana R's is about these people who, if they pilot their mechas, they'll die. Um, but, you know, they'll slowly, each one needs to pilot the mecha to save the world. So it's, like, quite the conundrum on their hands. It's like, do I really want to pilot this mecha and die? Or do I want to let someone else do it, or what? So, eventually, obviously, I'm pretty sure they all, one by one, end up piloting their mecha to save the world. And also, you know, the people that they love. Uh, so it's an interesting psychological thriller uh, slash mecha. I love mecha, obviously. You guys probably knew that. Um, this cover's upside down, but that's okay, too. Uh, the robot designs are very interesting. They're kind of insectoid looking, it looks like to me. Um, so it's pretty interesting in that right as well. And this is the last bundle here. I'm pretty darn sure of it. I was dying to get to this one when the unboxing happened, guys. I was like, oh my god. Boku Rano Ars Volume 3 is my beautiful, precious. See, look at that. It says 3 right there. And not, look at this. Look at this. One sticker. Right? One sticker. That's it. You know, nothing on this side of the French flaps. Here's some of the artwork. This is like the only one that I haven't shown off yet. Pretty cool, pretty cool, right? Very cool, very cool. I know, I know. Uh, and then look at back here. Look at that. Not a single stamp, no stickers, no nothing. This is hot ass deals and steals on Man Manga Boy right here. You don't get any better than this. Wild haul. Well, I guess maybe you do if you're me. I feel like the next one would be better. But, you know, this is a pretty darn good one, okay? So cut me the slack here, okay? This is pretty darn good. And here's number one, obviously. So yeah, did you guys like today's videos? Um, if you did, definitely let me know in the comments. Do you guys like the new camera angle? If not, also let me know in the comments. I'm kind of like torn on it. I kind of like it. I kind of don't like it. But your opinion matters more than mine. So let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope everyone has a nice rest of their day. And goodbye.